Hello everyone, welcome to another lecture of this course. So in this lecture, we are going to see how RCDC is uh, estimating or calculating the unsupported length of the column from the analysis model. So in this purpose, what I have done, if you see here in this bay, I have created some intermediate beams which are not actually the floor beams, correct? So if I if I just turn on the you can say uh, local axis of this, okay. Uh, let me just turn on the local axis of this member. So let us go to view and let me take this way uh, only just for understanding. So here you can see these are my uh, uh, basically these are my floor levels and this is this is the intermediate beam, right? So and uh, if i just uh, turn on the local axis so it will be shift o yeah and uh, so you can see we have the local x axis in the axial direction i mean the vertical direction and then we have the y and z axis right if you want to see which one is my x and y which one is my y you can see here the red axis is basically y axis i just write it here okay this is my y axis the z axis is the green one and the blue axis is my x one okay i'll just turn it off so now in this case in this case as my intermediate beams are there right so let me just turn it off i will just remember this is my red and this is my blue, right so i'll just turn it off shift and i will draw it here draw that. that this is my this axis is my red axis okay and this axis is my green axis so this is my z axis and this is my local y axis correct so if we see the bending and let me turn on uh, the this one also i mean the wireframe view also for this so if you see here if i if i want to estimate the bending bending about this axis i mean about the z axis so the bending will occur like this i am talking about the unsupported length so the unsupported length will be basically from here to here because there is no restraint in this direction or in this direction correct even in in in, in this case also it will be from here to here Okay, if I see it will be like this, then like this. Okay, so now I, I think I think I did mistake one. Uh, let me just start from the top basically. I did one small mistake. It will be from here basically. Here to here. Like this. Right? Then here to here. To here and then the bottom right now if i see the other axis i mean about the y axis the bending about the y axis then if we if we calculate the unsupported length it will be from here to here then here to here then here to here and then the whole length why because in this direction i have these beams okay which is providing restraint to this to the bending of this i mean uh, uh, of this call correct correct so about y axis about y axis and if i write it about z axis correct so if i just measure it just measure this if you see this bottom x bottom floor we have 2.1 meter full length then this height is 1500 mm and the full height is 3 meter right so except this bottom floor if i just if i just make it like this this is nothing but from plinth to the foundation level so if i just uh, i mean uh, uh, leave this particular area because in this case obviously it is 2.1 meter in both direction correct but if i see the rest of the uh, uh, floor levels so basically this is my floor level total floor level but only the bending about z axis i will get this unsupported length which is 3 meter but for bending about y axis, I will get an unsupported length of 1.5 meter for all these throughout the column. Because I have provided 
intermediate beams like that correct so for bending about y the unsupported length i will just write it the l unsupported okay unsupported is equal to uh, bending about y okay that means this yeah it will be 1.5 meter and for bending about z the l unsupported okay it will be 3 meter okay so based on this unsupported length you will be calculating the uh, we can say uh, the the uh, tenderness ratio of the column okay and then and when you will be estimating the you can say uh, when you will be estimating the uh, the ratio for i mean the effective length ratio okay so then in this case also this this because effective length is nothing but unsupported length into my effective length factor k right so now uh, in one direction the unsupported length will be 3 meter in other direction the unsupported length will be 1.5 meter so obviously it will it will i mean this this uh, consideration of the unsupported length will change your analysis results or design results analysis results may not change depending on the fixity it will give you the analysis results by moments or you can say whatever it is but when you will be designing these considerations are very important so uh, now the same thing should be should i mean we should see the same thing in rcds when we are importing this particular model in rcds so what i have done i have just imported this model and if you see at every 1.5 meter level from the zero zero is nothing but my uh it is a plinth level and below that i have 2.1 meter column correct then 1.5 3 4.5 6 7.59 9, like that it is dividing the 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 stories okay so what it is considering that every 1.5 meter it is considering one story though these columns are not there but there is two column which are divided at 1.5 meters for these two columns it is considering that this is my column height unsupported height and you will see the same when you will design this so basically i mean all these settings i have just kept uh, as you can say default and the load case also i've considered so if i just run the design with with the default settings just to show you how it is considering the unsupported length. and if i go to the report and you can say design calculations suppose for let me see which column it is suppose c1 okay so first it is uh, considering the height if you see uh, the 1600 mm why 1600 mm because if you see here i have this beam basically if i turn on the whole so here i have this beam so uh, you can say oh, sorry it is being in inch let me just let me just close this sometimes it happens if it uh, yeah. just duration so now if you see this is this is 50 centimeter means 500 m right so 2.1 meter minus 500 m so obviously it is 1.6 meter right 2.1 minus 0.5 so it will be 1.6 meter right and in both direction it is the same because this beam also of 500 mm so in both direction the unsupported length it is calculating as 1600 mm correct if you see here clear height b and d correct now if i just see the other levels we just go to the other level here yeah if you see in the other level in one direction it is estimating as 1000 mm for the column and the other direction it is estimating as 1500 mm why because what it is considering it is considering that this is my column this is my column which is of 1.5 meter okay in one direction i have a beam which is of 500 mm so it is deducting this 500 mm from this and it is giving you this unsupported length this unsupported length of one meter okay earlier i have told you the unsupported length from center to center basically uh, actually the unsupported length is from uh, beam bottom i mean from top of float to the bottom of beam 
so just to make you understand i have i, have, I mean explained as center to center okay so basically unsupported length is not from the center basically it is it is from the bottom of like like that suppose this is there so top of beam to bottom of this is my l unsupported okay so don't don't get confused just to explain i have shown you like this from center to center but it is not like that so how it is showing that it is considering that my effective height is 1.5 meter i mean from the center to center and i have a beam of 500 mm in this center, so i am it is directing that beam height so we are getting unsupported length of 1 point uh, sorry uh, 1 meter in the other direction i mean it is for bending about my y axis right if i if i just draw the y axis again this was my y axis right and the other one was my z axis this one was my z axis so about y axis the unsupported length will be 1 and about z axis the unsupported length is considering as 1 point but it is actually not correct right because uh, sorry uh, because about about z axis it should take the unsupported length as this one so 3 meter is my center to center minus 500 so 2.5 meter should be my unsupported length about z axis and about y axis it should be 1.5 minus 500 meter that means 1 meter but it is not happening correct if it is considering it is considering that this direction there is no beam so it is taking this 1500 only half of this because it is divided at this point okay so rcdc is not being able to understand the uh you can say restraint that the beam is providing here it is directly considering that this point it is a level so it is uh, divided dividing the column here so now like we all know software is like that only software is completely based on your input i mean whatever calculation it will be doing it will be depending on what input it is feeding to it okay it cannot do anything of its by its own so we have to provide the proper input to the software so in this case uh, here also we have solution for this particular problem so what is the solution i will just unlock this now see basically what we want we want that there should be one column from story to story right and if there is any restraint providing provided by any beam or like that so in this case in the the direction along which this beam is provided so about that i mean about the other direction it should be the bending should be like this right so unsupported length should be considered accordingly so to do this to do this there is a simple whenever you have this kind of issues or this kind of uh, modeling uh, in in your structure so in this case what you can do you can use an option called merge demerge levels so basically what we will do we will merge the levels i mean in the intermediate level so we will say that from 0 to 3 there is one level from 3 to 6 there is one level and from 6 to 9 there is one level okay there is we will we will ask the software not to consider the this intermediate levels as the level okay so what it will do after that if you now you can say that if you are considering merging this level then how it will take the intermediate i um, mean the effect of the intermediate beam it can take it you just click on okay just let it uh, now let it run so now if i go to the reports and you can say design calculation for the same column c1 to make you understand okay. the top floor obviously it is basic will be uh, if you see here this top floor to, i mean the bottom one it will be 1600 mm as it is but if you see the other levels now you can see in one direction it is giving unsupported length as 1000 mm because it will be 1500 minus 500 and in the other direction it is giving 3000 minus 500 which is 2.5 if you go to the other levels also you can see it is 1000 and 2 okay so this is how you can solve this problem of the software not considering the unsupported length correctly so it is not like that the software is not doing it correctly it's like we are not giving it input proper okay that's why it is not able to do this so i hope this this uh, thing is uh, pretty clear to all of you if you have any doubt you can always write me in the chat box i will try to solve your doubt as soon as possible. thank you and see you in the next lecture